dyes are used to provide colour to textiles and our clothing. But the dyeing processes themselves can cause problems in the environment. So how do we make them more sustainable? Let's investigate. Hello, my name is Professor Richard Blackburn. I am Professor of Sustainable Materials in Leeds Institute for Textiles and Colour at the University of Leeds. So my job involves teaching and researching in the areas of textile chemistry and colour chemistry and particularly in relation to dyes and dyeing. My focus is around sustainability and how those products are sustainable from a full life cycle perspective. What that means is that we shouldn't just focus on what something's made out of, but also how we make it, what happens when we use it, and what happens at the end of life. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, all of our dyes came from nature. We've been dyeing with natural dyes for thousands of years if not longer. But when William Perkin discovered morphine in 1856, that caused a cascade of amazing chemical innovations to develop synthetic dyes and created this chemical revolution in dye chemistry that provided us with a much wider range of colors that were harder to wash out, that didn't fade so much in light, and we could use on a variety of different fibers. I have my own spin-out company and one of the things that we're doing within our company is making pigments for makeup and other colour and applications such as hair dyes from pigments that we get from waste fruit skins such as leftover black currants that have been pressed to make Ribena. Using those waste black currant skins we take out the pigment and use that to make hair dyes so you can dye your hair different colours using those pigments that are ultimately from a waste product. But when we use these natural dyes, it's really important that they perform as well as the current synthetic dyes. But we can't use that black current pigment for dyeing polyester. It's just not stable. And it's one of the limitations of some of our natural dyes is that they're not suitable for everything. So if we can't use natural dyes to dye polyester, how do we make that greener? Well, we're conducting some really exciting green chemistry research at the university at the moment, where we've developed a new dyeing process for polyester. What it's allowing us to do is to take the dyes out of the fiber after we've finished with them. So not only can we recycle the fiber, but we could potentially also recycle the dye. So by recycling the dye, recycling the fiber, that synthetic process can become really, really green and sustainable. Of course, one of the most sustainable things you can do is just to buy less and use less. I always say to people, don't buy any garment that you can't commit to wearing at least 30 times. But it's not an answer to just say, well, let's just stop everything. Let's just stop this industry. Because if we did, it would be hugely detrimental to many people all over the world whose livelihoods depend on this textile industry. What we need to do is to make the industry as sustainable as possible in terms of the products and the processes to make them. And the way that we can really improve that and make a difference is by more people who do understand chemistry, who've studied it, to be able to make companies and ultimately the consumer make better, more sustainable decisions.